as we celebrate this month, um, it's a very special month to me, um, we've been asking women in music to kind of share five women who've inspired them and why. So when it comes to Cali, like, think of the women who have made you who you are, who've made you want to do what you do. Who are five women who have inspired you and why? Well, first off, I got to give props to my mom. You know, she's, she's so dope. She's so hardworking. And she made me, obviously, uh, made me be the person I am today. Um, Nikki. Uh, the queen she has definitely inspired me musically creativity like creatively um Aaliyah she was one of my favorite artists and well is one of my favorite artists and just like her swag and like how she carried herself was really, just really dope and that's just how I want to I want to embody that you know my grandmother she like raised me to a certain extent so you know I'm always love her she's the person that you know pushed me to even just do me and just do what I want to do and I would have to say my manager she's a, a, a mom to me so my momager you know she's my best friend's mom so she is the person who is like you know what we're gonna do this thing you know I'm gonna make sure your business handle I'm gonna make sure nobody play with you and we're gonna take over so then my five women I feel like we all need strong women in our corners I love that yeah. So I do want to ask you, I feel like right now, you know, women are killing it in hip hop and rap. Like, I don't feel like it's a male dominated thing anymore. Like the women are coming, you know, they're making bigger hits than some of the guys, <laughs> you know. Do you feel like a lot is expected of you as a black woman who raps? Yeah, honestly, it really is a lot that is expected of me. You know, I feel like a lot of the times people compare uh, every female rapper to another one or like try to pin us against each other like hey, we can't all be great or we can't all be you know making hits like somebody has to be better than the next person or we can't do this and that so I feel like it's really hard just I'm for women who want to do music or you know want to be in the industry they probably like dang you know like I don't know if I should because this I kind of sound or like this or I don't want anybody to say I look or I'm trying to do or be like this person so I feel like a lot is, is expected you have to stand out be yourself you know what I mean create your own like wave your own sound and just ignore all the the loud noise that's going on in the background how do you, as Cali, how do you kind of go against the grain and stay true to yourself and don't, you know, succumb to those kind of pressures? Yeah, I just, at the end of the day, I just know what my goals are and where I'm trying to be in life. Because at the end of the day, it's my life. Like, you know, nobody lays and in, 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 in my head about anything. It's, it's me at the end of the day. So I kind of just tune it out and be like, girl, nobody's is doing this for you you know what I mean like you already been doing this on your own type thing you know this is your dream so just keep it pushing don't nobody owe you nothing you know what I mean I so I tune it out and I just remember at the end of the day this your life so you have toxic chocolate I love the title of it um you've been doing a lot of promo for it too I see you have like the hotline uh video um yeah what's the story behind the title of the project and the concept of it so so the the title toxic chocolate basically a lot of my friends and like people around me they'd be like Kelly you're so toxic but they don't really mean like in, in a bad way they mean it in like, like girl you gonna play these games right back with these men like you take like I'll be taking my power like I ain't not I'm not gonna let no man think that he's bigger than me like you know just because he's a man like it's just it's just not a thing for me so they people nowadays call that toxic like you want to play games I'm gonna show you who gonna end up winning the game I'm competitive I like to win so if I'm toxic chocolate for that I'm a I'm a take over that name and I'm gonna make it into a positive thing it's just me you know taking my power back and showing girls the game like I feel like men now they got the futures and they got the babies and the and the young thugs or the you know teaching them how to run game and how to they want to be slimy and all that stuff to women but it's just like no I need to I need to show us ain't no more crying sliding down the wall we is not doing none of that no more I feel like it had to be a female coming in the game like no that's not what we're doing no more. So if it's toxic, hey, I'm toxic forever. What can we expect yeah. when the whole project drops? Yeah, uh, some hits. No, I'm playing. Uh, I'm not playing, but yeah, for sure. Um, basically, it's just raw emotion. Like, I'm really 
the stuff I'm talking about on my tape is real life. Like I was like, oh, I need to go in the studio. I need to talk about this because I wasn't finna start crying, like I said. So I was gonna put it in the song and just like tell y'all where my head was at, you know, in a fun way where the girls can vibe out and like help you feel like, oh, oh yeah, I'm bad. Like this is my confidence. Kelly helped me build my confidence, you know, like, hey, because that's what I was doing while I was making my music. I was feeling down, but as I'm making these songs, I'm like, you know what, girl, you actually right. Listen to yourself. So you've been kind of linked with a bunch of different people, like the hot girls and rap and things like yeah. that. How important is it to you to link with other artists who are just as hungry as you and who are coming up like you? No, oh, it's it's super important. I want to work with, you know, all the rap girls, all, you know, female artists. I feel like, like you said, we're taking over. So, you know, I've been the girl that people like passed up or like didn't see. So I never want a, a girl that's like super hungry and want people to, you know, see them. I would, I, I want to work with everybody that I feel is like up next or like right here with me. You know, they see me, I see them. So I just, I love to collaborate. I love making music. So if I feel like it's a dope record or I feel like I hear somebody else on that, that's another female that can add to what I've already done. I'm gonna do it. You are working with a lot of the rap girls that's coming up, the hot rap girls. Um, have you ever tried to reach out to any other women in rap to collaborate, but maybe it just didn't happen? Like who are some of those people that you have tried to work with or that you would like to work with? Um, like I said, I wanna work with all the rap girls. I everybody that I have reached out to has at least said, you know, said something like, Oh yeah, girl, let's do it. Let's let's get in the studio or you know, we just haven't got around. Everybody's busy. We haven't got around to it. I would love to collaborate with Flo Millie and um, Cardi B, Nikki, you know, all the girls, really. Being that you even mentioned Cardi, I didn't know that you were going to be on Rhythm and Flow. Like you had actually, you know, you know, was on the show, yeah. but audition for the judges. Being that, you know, you didn't even need the show because you blew up anyway. <laughs> You know, <laughs> since then, has any of those judges reached out to you, like Cardi or any of them? Has anybody reached out to you? They haven't reached out, but Cardi B follow me on Instagram. She be liking my my rap videos and my pictures. So that's cool. She see me like, hey, I be like, hey, girl, she on the page. When it comes to you working with women, what are some things that kind of make you say, mm -mm, like, I'm not working with this person? Like, what is it about somebody that will make you not want to work with them? Yeah, um, it, it would be like, working with another rap girl and you keep hearing her talk about other rap girls and like what they not doing or like how this person sounds like this person it's like kind of like dang girl like you you letting stuff get to your head like this they want us to feel like this they want us to think like this that would kind of that would kind of turn me off like oh that kind of sound like or you know this person was just doing this and like I'm not a drama person I will exit I don't do none of that so that would just kind of be like, uh, girl, you know, I finished the session, but we won't never get another session. Like, you know, <laughs> I just kind of be the vibes and be like, uh -huh. I know my place. I know not to say nothing around you. It's very easy for an artist to kind of like fade in the background, right? A lot of stuff does sound the same um, nowadays, you know, because a lot of artists are doing what works or whatever. Um, what do you mm -hmm. think is the recipe for a successful standout Black woman to be a rapper in 2022? What is the recipe to be successful? Yeah, I would say uh, don't overthink it. I feel like when people go in the studio, like they thinking too hard about what the next viral moment is or like the next viral line or like, oh yeah, people really gonna rock with this one. Like I should say this or like, I feel like just don't overthink it. When I go in the studio, I literally just be like, what? what's the story? Like, what do I want to hear? Like, I feel like I'm a cool person. I ask my friends, like, what's, what's y'all vibe? Like, what's the vibe right now? Like, how y'all feeling? You know, it's never really overthinking. We just create a good vibe in the studio and just like go, go off the top. Like what, you know, what it is right now. I feel like if you overthink it and you feel like, oh yeah, this, this the one, that's not the one. Cause half the time with me, when I thought something was going to go, that did not go like it was not going <laughs> like when you really think about something super hard I feel like you know it's it just got to be natural and like easy going easy flowing you know don't overthink it how do you stay focused especially coming up in this industry right now where like a lot of uh new rappers especially women they kind of um you know date male rappers and it, it becomes more about the male rapper than the woman you know what I'm saying how do you yeah. kind of focus and just you know focus on Cali and not even you know tune into those kind of things. I, I see it 
I be seeing it on the internet and stuff. I be like, eh, I'm already like a super, what is the word? It's like independent. Like I'm self-sufficient already. Like I had to do stuff on my own. So I already hate people doing stuff for me. So I just be like, if you can't come and add value, like in my life, I don't even want a conversation. And sometimes it comes off as like, oh, Kelly B. Kelly not, you know, Kelly not going for that. Kelly kind of mean, but I'm not mean. I'm just like, I know what I want. And you are, I know you can't give me what I want. And I'm not finna sit here and play games with you. And I feel like you just got to kind of respect that. <laughs> so I just stay in my own lane. And when that, when that person come to me, I'm gonna know it. Okay. Cause the person that get me out my, out that, you know, I'm just work, work, work. Like I just want to keep doing me. Once a person get me out of that motion, I know, hey, that this is the one. Like, oh, you that guy right there. <laughs> what are some of the morals and things that were just instilled in you as a young woman that you still carry with you today as you navigate through the industry? Uh, always speak to people and ask them, you know, how's your day going? Or like, ask somebody, you never know when somebody's having a bad day. Or, you know, don't be mean or rude or anybody just because you're having a bad day. You know what I mean? hustling and just being driven has always been a thing like nobody owes you anything you know what I mean so you have to kind of go get it on your own so them are some things for me like just be a good person really so you're definitely on the rise um, and I feel like you're projected to be one of those artists to watch you know as you keep building your momentum um what is mm -hmm. Cal bringing us this year that we're going to just have to keep our eyes on you like we can't take our eyes off you what are you bringing us this year more songs, more hits, more visuals, hopefully my own tour, you know, I, I hope to do my own tour this year, um, really more songs, more visual, more features, collabs, and yeah, 